today we have the letter T. We are making elements for the April A to Z junk journal challenge. Letter T. Trio of trash to treasure, torn tucks, turnover top tuck, a tricky totem side border tuck, tiny triangle tuck. Stay tuned for details. Hi everybody, it's Julie and we are on letter T. So we are making a trio of trash to treasure torn tucks, a turnover top tuck, a tricky totem side border tuck, a tiny triangle tuck, using tunes, thread, and tickets too. Okay, so we have to make three of these, one of each. Make these three torn creative tucks using music, thread, tickets, and your stash. Don't forget to tear the tucks. So there you go. So we're going to pull out the thread so I don't forget the thread. I have music and tickets right here. Okay, and put the letter T away. And I can come back and grab some of these others as we are ready to decorate. But we want to make sure we're using music and tickets and thread. Okay, so our first one is our turnover top tuck. And what I'm going to use for that is... Um, one of the pieces of the cutoff of lined paper that I have because what I'm trying to do is add more journaling space. This is the element T. Okay, so we have one, two, three and a quarter is basically what it is by ten and three quarters. Okay, so if you are looking for an approximate measurement, and I am just going to go ahead and start folding it. Okay, folding. Okay. There we go. We'll find the little spot. And just going to try and keep it as straight as I can. Folding it up like a turnover. Okay, so it looks looks like a turnover. <laughs> or one of those little football note things that <laughs> people used to throw around in school. So this is the note part. Okay, and now we are going to make it into a top tuck. I am using book paper because that is what I've been trying to to use up is my book paper. And I'm gonna go ahead and take one of the book pages and just fold it in half. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue it. Fold it in a half at a, in a triangle, I guess. So, fold it in half, woof. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, so there we go. And then we can go ahead and clean that up. Okay, and this is going to become the top tuck. Okay, we need to make sure that it's under five and a quarter inches. I might have to cut some off. So measure it down here it is right at five inches so we are fine it will fit across one of my large pages so I need it to be a top tuck so I'm going to go ahead and make sure my words are in the right direction and I am going to go ahead and I am going to um, Tuck my lined paper here underneath, okay? So this little tuck is gonna get glued down. So the, the first part of the tuck is gonna get glued down. Okay, and 
So then what's going to happen is this is going to go across the page. Okay. I wonder if you... Okay. Anyway, this is going to go across the page. But this is your tuck right here. We're going to go ahead and decorate this and the outside and make it into our tuck. And then you'll want to probably um, add a paper clip. And so you can do that. So we need to have music on here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do this, but I'm going to start with the purple washi tape. Okay. So remember, I just want to, um, you know what? Yeah, I'll just do it. Washi tape down the edge here. And it can go under because nothing's going to be there, right? So there we go. Okay. And, oh, you know what? This one is, this might be the better one to put. Okay. I'm going to put this music on here because we have the perfect fit right there for some music. And I am going to make a, um, a paper clip out of the ticket, probably also. Let's see here. Okay, could we do that and that? You know what? We'll go with the other washi tape because it's um, thicker. We'll put that right here. And since this tuck is going to need a paper clip, I'm going to make the paper clip be part of what I'm doing here. Okay, I'm going to come over here and Use the washi tape on this edge. I like the washi tape because it doesn't add any bulk. We'll just flip it over. Save my pieces of washi over there because I have been using I'm trying to use all my scraps and I've been doing pretty good. Okay. So if we go with this with the pansies on it. And then what if we go with, yeah, we'll do that. So we'll use this at the edge. Just like that. And we'll go ahead and get our digital. This is from the Vibrant Pansy Kit, the new kit in the Etsy shop. And all the digitals in the Etsy shop are on sale for 50% off. Okay, so there's that and that. And I'm going to want to add... You know what? What if we add one of our flowers? I like that. Okay, so we're going to add one of our flowers... And then this is going to become a top tuck in the journal. 
So I'm going to put it in my box of things to add to my journal. Um, for the A to Z junk journal challenge. There we go. Let's get this. Okay, and again, I'll go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> we don't need glue on all everything, so. Okay, we'll just flip that over. And check this out here. If you catch this glue before it dries, you can ball it up. Okay, okay, so this is our little tuck. You can write in that space. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and make a ticket um, paper clip. So I've got two of the yellow tickets. Go ahead and flip it. Grab a paper clip. Use the large part, <clears throat> the longer side, and have that be on the back because that's what will catch on to whatever it is that you're putting it on. We're gonna add fabric tack. Okay, and we might wanna put something here. There we go. Okay, so just um, I use the fabric tack because it will it will adhere really really quickly. Um, I used to use hot glue <laughs> till it uh, till like it burnt me pretty good, and I don't use it anymore. <laughs> so if you're using hot glue, be really really careful. So here is a t another kind of ticket. I'm gonna go ahead and take this little piece off and add some, I think we'll do the purple washi tape. So a piece of washi tape. And then this. Okay, so the only other thing we need to add thread. And so let's see, got this. So we're gonna go ahead and make one of our messy threads. One, two, three, four, five, six, and three. Around three fingers and around four fingers. And that gives us a batch of messy thread. So we're gonna twist it and grab a piece of double-sided tape just takes a little piece we're gonna put it around the center and then connect it to itself push it and then you should be able to pull one of the sides away from it there you go. And that gives us the messy thread. And I think we'll put it up in this corner and grab one of our bingo pieces. You can actually make so that the bingo piece will can be the, the holder here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. The bingo piece is gonna be the, the holder there. 
Okay, so we can, we can use this also, but we can save that and use it somewhere else because our bingo piece will hold that tech. Now to add this to the journal, we'll be gluing it along these two edges and putting it in, it will be a top tuck. Okay, so there is tuck number one. Tuck number two is a uh, totem. Tricky totem side border tuck using music, thread, tickets, and your stash. Okay, we're gonna use another piece of our book page. And we're going to fold it. Okay, we're just going to fold, fold it. Then we're going to take a piece of that lined paper. Or you can take two. Um, you know what? I think we'll go ahead and we'll rip it here. Right, just alongside. Again, this is the three and a quarter, I believe it was, paper. And I'm just going to rip it down. And come back over here. We'll use the glue stick. And I'm putting the glue on the red line side. Because on the other side, that red line looks pink. And that goes along with what I'm doing with the journal better. So there we go. Bring it over and push it in towards the center. Whoa, wow. It wanted to go. <laughs> it doesn't want to wait for instructions like some kids I know. <laughs> ah, okay, so there we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and just rip off my bottom edge. Let's grab that. Oh, we have the the old glue table is back and that was from um, putting together one of the things that we did earlier. Okay, so this side, I want, I still want the pink line. I don't want the, the um, red line. So I'm going to turn it upside down. Okay, so it, they both won't have the top margin. If I'd have thought of this, thought this out, then Oh, I forgot to cut a rip. Wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of glue to come off here. Let me just pick it back up. Pick it back up. Pick up the glue. Put your glue back down in the thing and you can go across and pick up glue. There we go. Okay, so I didn't rip yet, so we're going to go ahead and rip along the red line. Okay. I need it to be in a little bit or a lot <laughs> okay well anyway okay so this one has to go like this again I'm adding more um, journaling space it did have a wrinkle or two and then we can go ahead and rip our page so what we end up with is a border tuck that we're going to be able to attach to our journal like this 
and it will open here and we'll be able to um, to write in it. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, add some of our purple washi tape down the center. That will break up the fact that those were not glued to, you know, together, but it will also, let's get rid of some of the, there we go. Um, it will also help to strengthen the edge. Okay. So, okay. So this is our tricky totem. We are going to go ahead and what we're going to do is build a totem pole. Literally, we're going to build a totem on our paper. So it's kind of a snippet, but we're going to do it right onto our, um, this tuck. Now this pulls over this way, so we don't want to go over this edge over here at all. And I'm thinking that might help with that if we go ahead and give it an edge. Okay. So one of the things that we have to have in this tuck is some music. I am going to need music in my other the other um, one and it's the tiny tuck so I'm just going to go ahead and take off a little piece so that I have some music for that one and I am going to rough up the edges of this with my fingernail okay so you just have to hold it straight up because otherwise it'll fold down it won't fold um, rustic it'll just fold Okay, so, and there's tools out there that do, do that as well, but there we go. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this down, but I'm going to leave a little bit um, of leeway so that if I need to get into it, I can, can get under the edge. Okay. So here we go. So when you think of a totem, you kind of think of things sitting on top of each other. I think of like the eagle and the, you know, the bird. The eagle is a bird. <laughs> so I'm thinking that that flower would probably look really cool right there. So basically, we're having a collaged side pocket, but um, it's all stacked, okay? So everything is stacked on top of each other. Or under and over and through. Okay, so we have this ticket, and I think it's going to be really, really cool to be down here. But I'm going to go ahead and distress it a little or a lot <laughs> with my fingernail okay and then be able to put, just put it down there and it will go on the bottom So we have our ticket and we have our music or tunes, ticket and tunes. And let's go ahead and pull out our, this is what we have. So we want something to go in between these two that's a little bit substantial. Oh, I know. How about the crossword puzzle? So if we go right to there with our crossword puzzle, so we're going to cut up and cut over. Just 
So this is a crossword puzzle out of a crossword puzzle book. We can go ahead and give it a little texture. Okay. Um, let's see, what else do we have in here? We have some words. I don't think they'll fit. We have some gold pieces. Gold might be good um, down here. Okay, and we discovered a good way to, to do the gold was with the glue stick. Because we can go on just the and get glue on just the okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. So remember, our tricky is that it opens up. It's going to look like a side border, but it opens up, which is, is the tricky part. Okay. Okay, so the next, the other thing that we have to add here is some thread. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then around three, and then around four, and cut. And... Double-sided tape. Oops, stuck on my finger. Stuck together. Pull one side off. So this is ready. I don't I'm not I don't think I'm ready. So let's we've got a ticket down here, but let's go ahead and we do have a yellow ticket as well. I think we'll put it down here. Totems are very decorative, usually. I've, I've found the ones that I've seen. Okay, so we have the words for that crossword puzzle. Some of the words. Carefully. So you can use the whole crossword puzzle book. Use the puzzles and the the word pages. Okay. Okay. There's that. And what else do we have? You know what we haven't used? I have some purple tissue paper. Little tissue squares I found in one of the... Okay. 
so that gives us a little purple there. And we'll do one more. And a little purple there. So we have our triangle of purple. Even though we have this over here, it kind of go is going more pink. Okay, so um, so I just need something for up there. I have a variety of paper scraps that we've been using in this journal. So I have I have this. And I have okay, Let's see if these it's like still wet, and I can pull it down a little, right? Okay. We'll use that. Okay, so a totem is basically a collaged page at um, a collage stacked page. So where things are stacked on top of each other and then you can decorate under it. That's what I'm considering a totem page. Kind of a snip snippet idea or collaged idea. Then we'll just put those down. Okay, and then we'll come in and I think I'm going to leave the flowers. We'll see how they work in the journal. If they don't work, then we'll, we'll cut them off or rip them. Okay, so I'm, but I'm going to trim my edges other than that. Okay, so this gives us a side border tuck. And we're calling it tricky because it opens up and you can write inside of it. So it'll go onto the side of a page like this. You'll be able to tuck things in. But the tricky is that you can also open it up. And, um, oh, jeez. See what I did? I forgot the, I forgot the thread. I almost didn't finish the thing. So we'll put that and I have another Oh, I have a button. Oh no, I I have I have a pansy. I have a pansy. So we can put that on there, but you know what? We've been doing the the bingo cards. Let's do the bingo card. Bingo card here. Pansy down here. Okay. So that gives us a variety of items. And that makes two. And now we're making our tiny triangle tuck and a tiny tri a tiny triangle truck tuck is just like it sounds. We're just making a little a little tuck. You know what? Let's go ahead and use. Um, now ah, that's probably too tiny. Okay, so tiny triangle tuck, just like this. Wow, it's raining again. Okay, so that measured that way is like three inches. Okay, so from there to there is three inches. There we go. Tiny triangle tuck. Okay, so it needs a ticket. Do we have a half a ticket piece? Nope, I used it. Okay, so we need a ticket. We need music. We're gonna need thread. Let's go ahead and get its thread ready. Now it's smaller, so we can do 
little thread. We're just going to do two fingers. Wow, listen to that rain. And then we'll do a couple of the threes. Okay. There we go. We'll twist it. Cut off our little piece. I just cannot believe <laughs> how much it's rained. It, you know, it hasn't rained hard except for a couple of times. But it's rained all week long. Okay, so this is ready. We'll put it right there. So it's ready. Okay. Um, so we're going to want to put something inside of it so that we'll be able to write and you know, you know what, check this out. We have, we have this, we can make our own little tuck out of this. With map paper. And nah, we'll just use this. Like this. Okay. Put that in there. That gives us something to write on. This is our the front. We have music. And we have a ticket. We put our ticket on. And it can hang over. That's the really cool thing is it doesn't have to because I think with the little ticket, I'll probably put it on like an envelope or something that is in the journal. So see if we can figure out which way the words go. I think they, yeah, you can look at the ampersand or no, the, the clef, <laughs> trouble clef, <laughs> ampersand, trouble clef. They're, you know, they're kind of, <laughs> they're kind of the same, but totally different. Okay, so you can have it hang off the edge like that if you want to. Um, we have a little bit of washi tape over here. And remember, I like to use all my scraps. And I had put these over here on purpose to be able to use them. So that gives me some of that color. I don't have any purple washi scraps, but I do want a little bit of the purple on here. And so I think I'm going to put it right here. And it can go over the edge. Okay, so the next thing is I'm going to want some of the thread on here. I'm going to put it right there and grab... The bingo card because this is what I've been using okay so now in the journal this will probably go on a small page but it can go down in the corner and you'll be able to put something in and you'll be able to flip it up and read or write read or write in there go ahead and give it just a little bit of color on the inside those little little things okay so that is our three flips we have our border tricky um tricky border tech what did we call this tricky totem 
got my list, you guys. Tricky Totem Side Border Tuck. So there's our Tricky Side Border Totem. Tricky Totem Side Border Tuck. This is our Turnover Top Tuck. And remember, we we made a paper clip, but it ends up that this will hold that. And this is our turnover right here. Okay, so <laughs> turns over and over and over. So that is our turnover tuck. And and then I'll tuck right, well, when it's in the book, you're, you're going to have to put it under like that. But that will um, will hold it. And But you can also hold it with a paper clip um, once it's in the page. So that one's going to go into the page like that. And then we have our tiny, what, we, what did we call this one? A uh, tiny triangle tuck. So just a tiny, tiny triangle tuck. Okay, so there's our three tucks. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope maybe you got something new out of it that you hadn't seen or thought of before. Um, I am seeing that there's a ticket here and I, again, it's like, I'm thinking it can just go right here and it's going to, it needs a little tip, but then I'm going to still have that piece, but that's okay. We'll get this, get this on here. There we go. Okay. So that is... So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to join us at the April A to Z Junk Journal Challenge, the details video is in the description box down below, as is the playlist for this. We are doing elements for each of the letters of the alphabet. It's a lot of fun. The deadline for finishing your journal is April 30th. And yes, there are prizes if you finish your journal and they are for everyone. Everyone that finishes gets invited to a virtual party, a virtual internet party. And in that party is a digital kit that I've made up for them that is free. Eventually that digital kit will be in the Etsy shop, um, but they get it first and we make stuff and it's a lot of fun to be at the party and so there you go so again tricky totem side border tuck tiny triangle tuck turnover top tuck and that's today's video find something to celebrate every day don't forget to subscribe have an amazing day thanks for being here bye bye bye